So the bathroom at the back of this aircraft has a window. It's travel day! We're going on a trip. First class up in the sky. Because y'all know I'm basic. All right, made it to Richmond Airport. Jeep is parked. Location is marked. Bag packed. New bag to this. Hi. Check out Aaron's new wandered bag. The Fernway. Fernwa. Fern something. Fern Cliff. And we got old Totifer here and trusty old Hexad all access. And my six liter Rome sling. Links in the description down below. We really like this Hexad right here. Uh, I have it in green. He finally admitted that his Provoke was just too small and he upgraded to uh, one of my favorite bags. I felt like a pack mule things heavy. I got two shirts, two pairs of underwear, two socks, and the rest of it's camera here. Huh? Made it here into the airport, headed to the ticket counter, gonna get checked in, and then go through TSA. Have you learned something new from our content? Have we inspired you to travel? Leave us a comment down below. Hit the like button. First class. <laughs>ready to land we're coming in over the water I wanted to test how well this mic did as far as the, the price for today's flight so initially we had only booked uh, economy and it was $300 a ticket and we looked at the difference of what first class would be versus economy and it was only like hundred and fifty more dollars so we actually redeemed American Express reward points for the upgrade so we paid for economy seats, and then our upgrade to first class round trip was on American Express. I think it was 22,000 uh, membership reward points. So again, you know, we could be sitting way back there, but we're literally at the front of the plane. Row one. <laughs> Thank you, American Express, for that miles redemption to make this flight a little a little more special the card that we used it was the american express platinum we'll leave links down below in the description if you want to check out that card but we're on approach to jfk coming in over the uh, i believe that's the hudson and we're gonna hit up the centurion lounge next so that's exciting It's a pleasure to welcome you to New York City, John F. Kennedy International Airport, where the local time is 2.01. Be careful when opening the overhead bins so avoid injury from items that may have shifted during flight. New York. I don't, I don't know how the rest of the song goes, but we're here. We just got to find a bathroom, get situated, and head to the lounge.
Well, we made it. <laughs> After walking a hundred miles. The Centurion. Hey, JFK. <sighs> Hello. It's downstairs, I think. The speakeasy is downstairs. Everybody takes these stairs. There it is. All right, we found it. The 1850, the speakeasy. Shh, don't tell anybody. So JFK Centurion Lounge, New York, and uh, final stop before we get to Boston. So we came into the speakeasy, the 1850 lounge here at the Centurion Lounge, and we got the signature espresso martini. Pretty cool with some uh, coffee powder, 1850 being the year that American Express was established. I've got to change into something a little more cool because I'm burning up, but let's see how it tastes. Oh, dangerous. My thoughts on the 1850 espresso martini. It's really good. Oh, it's almost like, it's, it's, it's almost like medicine a little bit, but that good medicine. Mm. So good, so good. He got drink that water. He a lightweight. These potatoes were really good. Aaron and Todd approved. Not so much. The pasta, the potatoes, good. This was the middle floor. We came in on the top floor. The middle floor is where the speakeasy is. We want to go down one more to the yoga and all that stuff. I think. You always got to get them cookies. There was something about, it's this 1930, these chairs are from 1930. And the light fixture. Equinox Body Lab. Okay, so it's quarter after three, and we need to head over to, because we've got to go to a different terminal. We're in B terminal, we've got to go to C terminal. Even though the leg compression thing was only 10 minutes, I don't have time to do it today. So we'll have to try to hit that when we come back through in January. So we're headed to B18 to get on a shuttle that'll take us over to C8, and then we'll board our next flight. But yeah, JFK Centurion Lounge, really sweet spot. It's definitely the biggest lounge that we've ever been to um, out of all the Centurion lounges that we visited. So it was a really popular visit. So there's the Porsche SUV that will come and whisk you from gate to gate. So like if you're VIP VIP, they will come and pick you up in that Porsche at the plane and take you to the next plane Good, how are you? Good. Thank you.
time we fly international, like can we go to like Europe or something? What are you doing first on this? We're gonna be spoiled on that one. I want it. I'm getting it. Okay. Four minutes, wheels up, wheels down, up to Boston, but uh, considering the runway alignments, they usually expect that to be a little bit shorter and should be uh, early arrival into Logan this afternoon. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for flying with us this afternoon. Welcome aboard. So the bathroom at the back of this aircraft has a window. Pretty standard bathroom. 